not gonna do nothing You are not above me I bet you wish you was me I know that I know What's up, everybody? Welcome to a Monday edition of the Only Friends podcast. Today is going to be spicy. I know that this is what everybody's been waiting for. They love the fucking, they love the back and forth, man. <laughs> they just, they can't get enough of it. They're, they're in Joey's stream. They're fucking locked in. They got a padlock on this thing. Just We need a name for, we need a name for our stream. Like, we don't have like a lock in. He's right? so good at that. He like, is good at making catchphrases. He's mm -hmm. so good at that stuff, and it's so sharp. Like mm -hmm. uh, I'm repeating it. I think that's just how he is, I though. Mean, I don't even think he's trying to be sharp. He just is naturally a catchphrase guy. Yeah, guys, we have one. What? Let's get Let's a pop. Get a catchphrase guy. Yeah. 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 is a catchphrase. Yeah. Yeah. catchphrase right here. <laughs> yeah. 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 Nine. Let's get it popping. Look at these emotes in there. Yeah, most of the emotes are Conrad phrases. I. You're right. I feel a little slighted when it comes to the emotes now. What do you? What are you? What catchphrases do you have? Uh, I don't all know. Bingo but words. I just I just lost all my volume. <laughs> I can't hear anything. Inconsequential. Uh -oh. All right, guys. Oh, okay, we're good now. Um, okay, so we have an action-packed show today. We are going to be joined by Nick Vertucci shortly. Uh, prior to that, we have a few things to get out of the way. Uh, first and foremost, today's episode is brought to you by True Classic, guys. Let's start talking about t-shirts. Mm -hmm. If you've ever tried to replace one of your favorite shirts, you know the whole experience. It's just bad. It Most t-shirts, it stinks. <laughs> That's right. Yes. It stinks. Most t-shirts are either too tight in the midsection or look way too big and boxy. It's time to go all in on True Classic. You can see I'm, I'm wearing one right now. Nice fitted tee. Really, uh, you know. It's black. No, it's not it's black. Baby. No, it's black. <laughs> it's definitely blue. <laughs> I'm not bluffing. This brand has the absolute best fitting t-shirts a man can buy. True Classic has already helped over 2 million men finally get a better fit at an affordable price. We want to hook you up with some True Classic. Our listeners get access to the best deals that they offer. For a limited time only, get 25% off with the code ONLYFRIENDS at trueclassic.com. Don't, for, don't fold on your wardrobe. Say hello to True Classic. If you guys want to hit hashtag sponsor in the chat, you'll be able to follow that link. Uh, that is a direct link to the Only Friends giveaway, or not giveaway, uh, discount. So by all means, check it out. Legitimately, this is a very comfortable basic tee. Uh, I, I, I'm not just shilling. Like, this, this is a very nice fit. I actually have one on as well. Yeah, we're, we're, we're popping out here. Yeah, I need, I need the V-neck. In our True Classic. I need to test, um, test this out. I, I am going to rock a lot of true classic moving forward i'll, I'll wear mine tomorrow i, I had nice. to wear this this uh hoodie today i had to fight myself i had to do what was best for the pod i had a whole yeah. Steeler garb like ready to go mm -hmm. and i'm just like you got to do it for the sponsors man. no I, I, got, I got mine right here it'll be on tomorrow yeah i'll wear my Steeler gear tomorrow mm -hmm. a day yeah. removed uh speaking of the Steelers, holy shit fuck tom brady he's fuck he, tom brady we can agree he's done Right. Yeah, oh, I mean. He looks like Ben last year. Isn't it nice that maybe the Steelers put the nail in the coffin in that do, guy? Do you realize <laughs> He's how... He's a fucking goat, but, you know. Do you realize how much we got tortured by this man for the better part of a decade? And I had to listen to it all pregame yesterday. Oh, he just beats up on the Steelers. He's 12-3 and three lifetime. He, he beats up on rookie quarterbacks. Yeah, he now beats we, up on bad teams. Now we finally take care of it, and it's in the twilight of his career. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It he's, doesn't. He's, he's Brett Favre with that's, the fucking Vikings right now. That's how you beat a goat. You wait till they're about to die. And then you, you see what and I then did you here, kick right? them when they're down. What? You guys see what I did here? What, what did you do? I gave you Steelers fans, you know, a couple minutes. You know, I gave you guys a minute. I gave you a full minute before I started talking about shit. Hey, you know, go, a full fucking listen, minute. Listen, I let listen. you talk your shit, you know? Go I didn't it. interrupt you for a what? full minute. You let you do your shit. You gloat, you do this, you I do that. I thought that this was well, the, this, I thought it was a big Eagles day yesterday. But you know what today, yesterday was? God. Big it was day a, for the pod. We all won. We all so won. Because <laughs> why are you guys talking about Steelers and Giants? Yesterday was the Eagles day. I, I Giants say, and Jets. The, let's go, baby. First, first of all, Mr. Biss made a reappearance yesterday so you'll be happy to know that he's back in the lineup guys mm -hmm. useless uh he's he's <laughs> so fucking, as, I, as i predicted he's he so has fucking too useless. big of an ego for his skill and he hasn't proven himself hey 
Will he? He got it done. He got it done yesterday. Uh, I'm not on. I'm on, I'm on team. He's useless. He's a fluffy biscuit. Right. He's useless, but he got it done. He's a soggy biscuit. He's a yeah. limp biscuit. Um, but yes, you're right. Your Eagles are undefeated. Fly, Eagles, fly. Uh, 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 it's just cringe, man. You're it's, cringe. It's just cringe you, you, to me. You have I, the towel. I hate you, Eagles. you carry around the towel you were born in. That's cringe. <laughs> <laughs> She's not no, lying. Honestly, when you when you go to like. Um, the hospital where all the babies are born, like if in Pittsburgh, they're all wrapped yeah, I in know. terrible that's towels. Yeah, I That's why I said that. You know, being a Jets-Giants <laughs> fan, like, I hate the Eagles. What? Yeah, but there is to. no team that I hate more than the Dallas fucking Cowboys. Oh, I, I'm right so there with you. So, I, I, I love that. I, mm-hmm. I love I love it. Yeah, it's a beautiful Eagles. thing. Giant, I, Giants took care of uh, the Ravens, which is real nice. It was a beautiful Watched moment. Fall apart there at the it end. was it's such great. a beautiful moment. Giants um. Bro, what's, what's the coach's name? Brian Do- Dobble? Something Dobble, like that. something along, along those lines. I don't know what the fuck he's doing in the locker room, but he's getting them popping. Like, Ooh. And the Yankees. The Ooh. Yankees Ooh. avoided elimination. We needed it. Oh, we man. We needed it. Um, Got uh, ex pirate uh, Jameson Tyon on the mound today. To try um, to, uh, we, had pirate on, we had an ex pirate on the mound. Yeah, of yesterday. course, Garrett Cole. Yeah, and then <laughs> not only that, then right after him, another ex pirate in. Uh, Clay Holmes comes in in relief. Oh, I didn't Just realize he was pirates like, everywhere. Oh. I have all the pirates pictures. You guys have a lot of good draft picks. Wasn't there, we're the farm team for the for the Yankees. Yeah. It's been that way for a Wasn't long time. Wasn't there something big about the Dodgers too? I don't know if that. Was yeah, the thing. Dodgers They're lost. Out of here. Yeah. Best. I mean, they were they were hands down the best team in baseball. 111 wins or something in the regular season, and uh, Padres took care of them in four games. Same thing with uh, the Braves and the Mets. Both 100 game winners. Yeah, uh, they, they're both out. Yeah, Phillies. Phillies uh, took care of the Braves. So we have. San Diego versus Philadelphia in the NLCS. And the Yankees play one last game tonight, game five. Better get it done. It's back in the boogie down, so. Back they, in they, the boogie down. I yeah. like it. I like think it. I think they'll be all right. I mean, we've had some rough times in the um, first rounds the yeah, last couple Yankees of years. Yeah, Yankees have such rough times. It's just so hard yeah, for being a Yankees so. fan. It's just with your 27 championships. <laughs> It is brutal. Um, sure. In other exciting news, I got absolutely destroyed online yesterday. Uh, <laughs> I lost. I lost somewhere in the neighborhood of eighteen thousand or so. Wow. But, but there's a but. Uh, we are doing a promotion with WPT Global, where um, every Sunday I'll be streaming their uh, eight seat giveaway to the Win Millions Championship. Or sorry, to the WPT. Uh, millions championship that is taking place at the win in December. Eight seats guaranteed, meaning they need to get 200 players. They had 72. <laughs> Overlays galore. And wow. your boy Jeez. shipped the seat. Got one. Nice. Now, let me tell you how the promotion works because it's a rest of the world site and I'm American. I cannot accept my prize. Mm-mm. So, on behalf of WPT Global and me shipping this package, I get to give it away. Oh. So to everybody who has been a loyal subscriber or member of this podcast, we are about to reward you with the chance to win a 12K package to the Win Millions. Right now, I am about to draw from all eligible users, all however many thousands, tens of thousands of you there are. And I'm on Nightbot, and I am going Wait, you're to... you're doing it right now. I'm doing it right oh now. God. I'm Wait, rolling it. Oh, shit. I'm rolling it. Is it me? Did I win? Do they have to be a member? I'm not a member. Fuck. Uh, oh, members got 10x luck. What oh, if, so of, if, wait, I didn't win, higher, if I didn't win, I'm leaving. They have a higher opportunity. I took, out, I took out all mods. Okay. So what? you guys are all mods. Come on. Wow. What the fuck? All mods. So no mods and then 10x. 10x oh. luck to all members. So basically they get 10 entries for every poor one mods. for a subscriber. These we poor, have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. Mods. Oh, man. What are we going to do for our mods? We have a winner. Stuart Taylor. Are you in the chat? Stuart Taylor. Stuart! If, if you are in the chat, Stuart, I need you to report to yourself. us right now. Re- report yourself. I think I can at him. Looking. I don't see any Stuart I got Taylors. It. He's in there. He's in there? I just added him. Okay. So, Stuart, once you see this message, I'm going to need you to uh, put in the chat some sort of um, contact info. Uh, this is the only way we can obviously confirm it's you because you're here. So, by all means, sir, congratulations. 
on your twelve thousand dollar win package. Does he have to name his child like Matt or something? No. <laughs> Someone's gonna change their name to Stuart and, no, no, and no. type. No, they can't. Uh, Stuart Taylor, there's one and only. Um, I can verify it. So, uh, yeah. So please give us a contact info. Uh, just put your Twitter there, and we'll DM you. That way, you're not giving out like an email for yeah, yeah, thousands of people to uh, come after you and try to get a piece of your your 12k package uh okay with that said now for everything you guys have come for um also can one of you guys just monitor the chat and get that info for yeah, me whenever it comes through uh All and right. if it doesn't come through close to the end let's let's be sure that we take care of it somehow I agree. Okay. uh if it goes unclaimed today we will do it again tomorrow so uh just know that uh thank you guys so much for joining us if you haven't already please like comment subscribe below uh yes. well you can't comment yet but uh also you know feel free to enjoy uh the membership perks such as having an opportunity to win a 12k seat click that join button and become a part of the nerds and brainiacs okay uh today we have a somewhat serious topic to discuss uh there was some some shrapnel flying mm -hmm. in the twitter streets yesterday uh there was i, I was in the midst of streaming and midstream my chat just went nuts, just Vertucci, 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 Vertucci. And I'm just like, guys, I'm playing a satellite and I don't know how to fucking do this. I have to fold jacks right now. Like, what's going on? <laughs> you did not. I did. I folded jacks. Yeah. I you folded should. jacks. It's a satellite. Oh, it was, oh, it was a satellite. Yeah, I forget. It was, it was eight seats sure. guaranteed. There were 10 left. One guy had me covered and he opened ripped. Yeah. He's playing a fucking all in yeah. pot on the bubble. I, 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 co me, I coached Berkey up before the. Uh, yeah, I coached him up before. Uh, That's right. Before the satellite, that's why I was folding jacks. I, I literally, uh, maybe this is our next emote, but I sat there and I said, what would tortoise do? Yes. <laughs> exactly. What would tortoise I do? Like Instead that. of the Jesus fish, we have a, we have a, a tortoise. <laughs> a tortoise. I like tortoise that fish. one. Tortoise approved. Right. Uh, so yeah, um, you know, basically this all came to me while I was streaming and it was, it was kind of trickling down. I'm like, what's going on? But I, I already had an idea of, of what it was about. Uh, and effectively... Um, for anybody who may have missed the tweet because it's since been deleted, uh, Nick had announced that he was going to basically uh, hold my integrity to the fire in a podcast on Tuesday. He wanted to uh, call into question a few things. And what he was alluding to was that uh, a week ago, uh, Guapa, I don't know, do you have that tweet loaded? Negative. I thought we sent it to you. Nobody, <coughs> nobody sent it? Come on, Negative. guys. You had one job. Well, I sent one. Um, I got it. I'm, okay. I'll put it in Discord. Sorry. All right. He's going to send it, or Karin's going to send it now. Anyway, uh, what he was alluding to was about a week ago, I spoke to a member of their production staff, and uh, that conversation was initiated by that person um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, had basically steered into the direction of I wanted to confirm some things regarding production. Uh, what it turned into is a recording of that call surfaced and Nick is in possession of it. So he was holding the unlawfulness of said recording over my head, basically. Uh, so that was the integrity that was being called into question. I don't have anything to hide. I don't um, care that, that, I mean, I do care. Like, obviously I sent it to one person and uh, he clearly betrayed my trust, but uh, with that said, um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I was basically protecting myself in, in, the, in the situation. And uh, we're only really talking about this because of the, the law aspect, right? Like going 120 on a freeway is also illegal. Uh, I speed, guys. I'm here to tell you, you know, it fucking happens. So, um, you know, I take responsibility for it. I obviously wish that uh, I had a little bit more foresight when it comes to all this stuff, but I don't give a shit and I won't be like leveraged in that regard. Uh, my closet's clean and I'm happy to have anything called into question. So with that out of the way, I obviously clapped back. And my response was essentially uh, questioning why my integrity was uh, getting called. I, I see Guapo. <laughs> I'm going to send you the link again. Um, so basically at that point, I was, uh, I was basically, <laughs> I wanted to know why this was getting called into question, right? Why is this important? Why is the unlawfulness of this call 
even relevant in any capacity. Um, I didn't say anything on there that I would be embarrassed about. By all, by all means, it can go as public as it fucking wants to. Um, everybody knew that we were investigating on this stuff. Uh, and, you know, as far as I was concerned, this is a nothing burger. So when it came down to responding, I wanted to be abundantly clear that these tactics are bullshit and that they are, you know, strong arming and, and things of that nature. And I wasn't in any capacity uh, interested in tolerating that type of stuff. So that's the whole backstory of where this beef is coming from. Um, I ultimately spoke with Nick and, you know, we, we arrived at wanting to hash this out on air instead. We decided that, you know, rather than having Twitter fingers get the best of either of us, it's better to just uh, have a conversation, speak our truths, and let the public kind of weigh in as they see fit. Um, and I, I think that that's best for all of us. Like, I have absolutely no beef with Nick. Uh, you know, I, I have opinions of the way that he does business. I have opinions of the way that he handles uh, situations like this, of course, but I truly hold no malice towards him. And I've said this multiple times, like, you know, I was doing this for the betterment of the community. I was doing it for the betterment of streams in general and for the overall landscape of uh, everything moving forward. I, I have no interest whatsoever in taking on some sort of crusade that is either going to make me or someone else look like an asshole because of something personal. There's literally nothing personal here, right? This is just me understanding that the ecosystem is better off when checked, right? When this stuff goes unchecked, we find ourselves in a stone situation. We find ourselves in the midst of controversy. And I don't think that benefits ever, anybody, right? So uh, with that said, I want to give Nick the floor. Uh, I just said a lot of things. I'm sure he's going to have some responses to those. I want to give him the opportunity to uh, speak as he see fit. Uh, we have a few questions uh, prepared, but otherwise I'm just going to kind of like let it go off the cuff. Um, you know, um, anything that he wants to, to ask me about, I'm, I'm willing to answer as well. Hold on, I'm going to need a Zoom link. I, I got a Zoom link. No, he came back. Oh, uh, he says it's not working. Uh, he was there. I sent the Zoom link you just sent me. Now he's in here twice. Okay, we're good. Uh, are, do you have it on your end, Guapo? Oh, sorry, I sent it. I only sent it to Christian. My apologies, I guys. Sent, I sent what you sent to yeah, but I didn't send it to Guapo. Oh, got it. Uh, there you go, Guapo. Uh, my apologies, guys. We will have Nick in here uh, momentarily. Um, so while we, uh, while we get this all sorted and we bring him in, uh, I, I do want to dispel a couple other rumors. No, I do not have a secret OnlyFans account. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. If I have one, it'll be public as fuck. I promise you that. <laughs> you, you, Snoop Dogg, you don't make any money. I am. I support this. Like, I support the you know the male poker pros starting OnlyFans. Yeah, Snoop but, had the best take. That was fucking hilarious. But if I start an OnlyFans, it's not going to be like dick swinging. It's going to be like what's it going to be? Like sitting around grinding po. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going to talk. Yo, yo, yo. That. Okay, I hear it. We have Nick. <laughs> Uh, all right, we're gonna bring him in. Uh, go ahead, Nick. Um, I guess well, first, did, first and foremost, we miss, can. Did I miss anything after when I got booted? I don't think so. Uh, I was okay. just, I was just discussing um, the the tweet and the rebuttal. So uh, let, let's start there. Um, you know, you and I spoke off off the air, but let's start first and foremost with what was the intention of uh, you sending that tweet out? Sure. So as we talked about, I think it was like three or four in the morning last night when uh, Christian kind of put us together. Um, uh, of course, you already know, but you're asking me because they don't. My first of all, the intention wasn't leverage because there's nothing to leverage. I don't. Uh, I don't. I didn't have an ask. I didn't uh, want you to say or do anything different. Meaning, like you feel how you feel about your opinion, and so there wasn't anything in there where there was a leverage, like there was an ask or something I wanted from you. I know you used the word blackmail. That is absolutely not the case. What this was, um, was this, and let me start here. I talked to Christian last night 
and told him in basic what basically he came to me and said i think it's this that you're referencing and i said yes which was the recording and basically the only purpose of it for me was this and this is what i told you um it was me not having a problem with what you said about our production room nothing at all that's fair game it was, as we talked about, and we didn't agree on this, it was the delivery of how you hit us with it and some of the things that you were saying about our integrity to continue to to stream. So for me, it was, okay, if we're going to talk about integrity, this, what you did here is, you know, a, it's not legal. And in, in, and let me just say this, basically because of this situation, um, I'm not asking anyone to try to put themselves in my shoes because it is what it is, but there is a lot going on. I'm getting a hit constantly all over the place with the most absurd things. And um, so for me, it was, okay, we want to talk integrity. Let's talk about this because this probably isn't the way to go about it. And Christian could attest to this within 15 minutes of firing off that, uh, that picture with uh, the the text or whatever it was in the tweet, I had texted him and I said, fuck man, I just can't do this. Like, I, I, this isn't me. Like I, even though like I'm pissed off about it, like I don't want to be like the rest of them include just meaning whoever out there's, you know, going for clicks, look, going for a pound of flesh. And so uh, I was considering pulling it down and talking about it with him. And then I think, I, I don't think I heard Christian. You can tell me. I don't think I heard back from you. No, and what so happened just, is Berkey was already streaming, so it was like impossible oh. to get. Like now, pretty much the shot was fired, and I couldn't get a hold of Berkey yeah. because he was yeah, streaming. Yeah, yeah, got it. Yeah, got it. So it wasn't a leverage pulled over anyone's head. It was more of a like, okay, man, like you're coming really, really hard with your delivery, not so much the content, and then implying that we have an integrity issue because we continue to run our business, which is your opinion versus our opinion or whoever's opinion. And so that was the whole purpose of it. When you and I talked last night at like three 30, whatever time it was in the morning, um, we had come to the conclusion that this is ridiculous and we both agreed to take our shit down. And, you know, my whole goal now here is to have this conversation because it is out there and it is out there because I put it out there. And so I agreed to come on your show. Um, and you did, I think you did mention to me that you didn't know that it was something you shouldn't do. I believe you. Um, I really don't care that much to be honest with you. The only one that re like really cares is Kyle. Um, because he feels, you know, laid out and whatever used maybe uh, in his words like whatever he said then you went live um maybe the following monday and he felt duped because he said his goal was to help um and thought we're you know you were on the side of it and then felt like it was harsh or whatever that's just between you and him that's i'm just telling you that's that's that part of it but for me no leverage no hold overhead it was more okay i don't think this holds a ton of integrity in it so since that's your thing let's talk about it um kind of wish i didn't do it on, only because after i talked to you and like i said within minutes i just like i said i contacted christian i said i don't feel right about it uh fuck you know like whatever and you know christian knows because we've had a lot of like pretty long straight talks uh about things and i think he understands me a little bit more than the rest because i don't have a relationship with you guys but that's the reason for it that's why it happened and that was my intent okay um i have a couple follow-ups uh so let's just take them in order um the first one is that uh the the unlawful aspect of the recording um you're you're implying that that is uh a shot against my integrity can you elaborate so, on that a little bit? Yeah. What, what I was why is, it, why is was, that? Why is that non integritous? Okay. So what I was implying is that I thought you knew that it was illegal because you said recently you didn't know. So if you knew that it's something that's not uh, legal, that it would be an integrity issue. Uh, I mean, not that I'm trying to play, uh, like I'm not that I'm trying to lean on culpable deniability, but I can assure you that if I knew it was illegal, Sean D would have never gotten it. 
okay, well, I can assure you that I believe you. And like I said, after we spoke last night at 3.30 in the, in the morning, I sort of regretted the whole thing because honestly, for me, I just want to move on with really everything. Like I, sure. I want to get to the bottom of what's going on here. Uh, I don't want beef. Um, I already told you the reason I did it. And I'm not implying and sticking to the point of you don't have integrity. I'm saying you asked me why that was no i understand uh, I, i'm not yeah. i'm not grilling you over this I, i'm just yeah. asking you to uh elaborate totally. on the stance yeah that's, uh, that's the reason okay so then secondarily um you you spoke to the initial purpose of the tweet was not to uh leverage anything out of me not to uh you know negotiate or anything um can you be a little bit more specific as to what the actual purpose of the tweet was then yes i i'm going to say the same thing i just said um, it was the purpose of that. I felt you were coming extremely hard at us in your delivery and being very dogmatic about what we should do and questioning our integrity to continue to run our business. And I thought, even though it's your opinion, um, you still are questioning our integrity for doing that. And we both have our opinions on that. And a lot of people have the opinions on both sides. I know that. And so I just thought, well, maybe that's a little hypocritical since this is an integrity issue. And I already admitted to you that it was more for that purpose than anything. And that I don't think it's an integrity issue because I believe that you didn't know. Okay. So then let's, let's talk now about, uh, my criticisms of you continuing to run. So, uh, you're correct that I do think that the best operations would have been to shut down for a week and get your back, back of the house in order. Uh, with that said, um, can you explain to me how your players are not vulnerable operating under the current system and why this is not an integrity issue to continue to run? Well, the probably the same reason why there's people on your staff that don't think we, like maybe think that it's our business if we should shut down and, you know, everyone has their opinion on that. Um, well, that's course, not what I asked. I I'm asking no, I know. why... I yeah. Why should the customer well, feel safe and feel that there is no integrity being breached if the system let, is in fact vulnerable? Let me, I will answer that question, but, but again, uh, let me ask this question. If I have nine players that want to play mm -hmm. and they feel safe, isn't that enough? Uh, I would argue that in a casino environment, no. In a home game, sure. Um, but the actual Hustler Casino is licensed under California Gaming. And I understand that California Gaming has set a precedence where they don't want to deal with poker happenings. But mm -hmm. the idea that a stream game is more vulnerable than a game on the floor and that we should just accept that risk because okay. of views yeah, uh, doesn't no, jive with me. I don't think we should accept that risk. I think that at the end of the day, we don't have anything that proves cheating. I, I'm not implying that we do. I'm not implying that we no, do. But you're asking me why I would continue to run the stream. I would because, continue to run the stream. Well, I'm okay. asking because we've agreed that there are security issues with the back of the house. Right. So we agreed, we, what we agreed to, yes, is that there in, is issues as far as where the commentators are, where the server is, yes, that type of thing. Um, of course, we are running our stream I can't say differently, meaning because now we uh, we have to move. So basically, this, and then I'll just have to talk around it until I get to the to your to your question. Um, is this when we first got into the Hustler Casino? We have a limited amount of space. We use the space the best we could. Because of this incident, it's going to make us stronger, and because of that, we are going to make some changes. But to make those changes, there's construction changes. There's things that can't be done in a week. And these construction changes have to be, um, they take time. And so we're going to have to move the whole room around. We're going to have to get permitting. And in the meantime, if we were to shut down, we would have to shut down probably for a month or two. And it's just not something that can happen. Now, what we have done is we have put in protocols until we can move the room and uh, a bunch of the other bullet points you had and that we have ourselves that we want to change. Um, uh, we now pat everybody down there was never electronics there's no bags um there's can you elaborate on the pat downs is that uh for staff as well or is that just for players 
no staff as well. They get wanded, okay. um, back their bags are no longer allowed upstairs. Um, no, no electronics were ever allowed. Nobody's in the loud, allowed uh, in the room alone. Um, the server that you speak of is actually in a cage that the door shuts and can be locked. So there's nobody that can touch the server or put something into it or do anything like that. I, the only reason I haven't even come out to say that is because what I have planned to do is at the end of this, go over every single thing that has been out in the universe, including, you know, of course your, your concerns and others. And there's been a lot of, um, other conspiracy stuff about mugs and this. I mean, I'm, I'm going off the reservation a little bit, but what I had wanted to do instead of like just firing back at some of the things you said was just to put a, out a comprehensive report of all the things. And, in, in, and of course, including the things that were changing because we needed to have them, we need them to be different. So just like, you know, the things I put out with, uh, the thing with Brian and everything else, I, 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 there's never going to be an issue of me, uh, having any transparency in this. It's just timing of everything. So there's no way we can shut our business down for a couple months or more getting the construction done and turning. But what we can do is what we've done before. We have our server in a lock, you know, a shut door cage that it's in, um, Nobody is in there alone ever. Uh, nobody has their bags. Everyone's wanded. And um, we do have right now, as we speak, uh, Bulletproof and the GLI companies that are there. Uh, they've been working in our control room with us, um, doing their stuff in between streams. Um, and probably a bunch more things we've done that I can't think of off the top of my head. So I believe our stream right now, and again, a lot of people have said, Nick has always said how the his strength of his stream and his integrity, you know, the, that he's secure. No, I never said that. What I, what I said was, and we had one statement we put out that said, we believe in our staff, et cetera, but we know anything's possible. And so we are, how about this? This may, you're going to say, well, that's not what I'm looking for. It's not, I don't disagree with really anything you said, except for there might be a few things in there that were not accurate in that call, but that has never been my point. My point has been delivery and the questioning of integrity when like, you're kind of not in my shoes. You're just not like, I know from, you know, from a, a, above on the rooftop, it's easy to look down and say this, 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 and the other, but that's not really the reality of what's happening there. And I have always been available to you or anyone else to answer a question, to discuss it, to show you, and to, even ask for your advice. I had one of my um, team people that I hired slash a team member that's helping me work on this email you and said, okay, if you're familiar with RFID, tell us what you know, what can you help us with? We're, we're open to hear you. And then you didn't, and I'm not saying this is anything as a negative, but you didn't respond. And he did confirm that you got the message and you still didn't re respond. So it's like, how would he confirm that I got the message? I never got a message. Okay. Uh, because he was one of, um, your students and he's a PR person now that's just kind of, kind of like vested in this and helping me. And he like, okay, has been so tracking. He, he was one of my coaches students who reached out and told me to look right. for an email that okay, I never so, got. So great. So then you didn't get it, but I guess he got confirmed that you did get it. And so all I'm saying is in regardless, that's like a, a, not a big point. All I'm really saying is, um, you asked me the question. The question is, is because you did question our integrity of that. That's the purpose of the post. Um, and then other, otherwise I answered your question, which is all the things that where I actually feel at this, uh, our stream is going to be 10 X safer when we're done with the movements and everything else we're doing, which I will put out a full report of what we did, what we changed, what our weak points were, what we found, what we didn't find. Um, but I can tell you this, our stream's a lot more secure right now than it was before September 29th. That's good. I think that's great. Yeah. Um, I think that, you know, I have a little bit of pushback to some of the things that you said, and you're, yeah. you're welcome to respond to this. But okay. uh, first and foremost, um, I, I do agree with you that you've been uh, willing to speak to me off the record a lot, offer me the opportunity to come and look behind the scenes. And I stand by the fact that I think that that's a conflict of interest when I both own that system and play on said stream. Um, I just don't believe your patrons should have access to that. And uh, there's a lot that I could grow you about with that. Everything from the Ryan clip of asking everybody who's not working there to get out of the room to, uh, you know, a, a lot of other clear indications uh, in that Twitter back and forth that I had with him 
that we're corroborating that these these insecurities exist. Now you're you're saying that they've been since rectified. I accept that, and uh, I hope that they have. Obviously, at this point, that requires a lot of trust, and you know my trusting days are pretty thin with regard to this entire investigation. Can you? Th my question to you is. I know you say that I'm not in your shoes and I can't understand. Understand that I also operate a business and uh, I do things all the time that are cost benefit analysis of, is it okay for me to do X at the expense of uh, you know, my, my customers, right? And I would like to think that when it comes down to bottom dollar versus what's best for the customer, I choose the customer as often as possible. Now that may be true that I don't, right? In my heart of hearts, so that's what I believe to be the case. When, when we get down to the nitty gritty and you say, why didn't you just come to me? Why didn't you communicate with me? I've offered you the ability to come look at the uh, whatever. Why, why couldn't this message come from me instead of from Kyle? Uh, what I want you to understand or, or maybe speak to, uh, I'll, I'll ask this question rather than make a statement, is can you understand that from the, the th objective third party who's looking into this, we have to be suspect of you and Ryan as well. You guys have access. Right. So what you're saying is maybe coming right to the source, maybe coming to a source that if you still have to suspect somebody would be probably not the smartest plan, because if somebody was involved that you were talking to, like myself, that I wouldn't probably be as candid as somebody else. Would Correct. That be the well, okay? maybe not as candid, maybe try to railroad us. Like there's a million, sure. Sure. if our incentives don't align. Yeah. Um, I don't know what you, what I can say to that other than, um, like I said, I just felt like, and, and, and so I do disagree with one thing, which I would never going to come to terms on, but I don't think it's a conflict because I'm not asking you to come in there and touch all the stuff and go into my system and log in and whatever it is that you're implying. I really don't know what you're implying because, of course, I got trolled for well, not it's, knowing. It's what just access. Uh, play, well, play out this, I, for instance, in your head. You, uh, and again, this is, I'm not accusing you of this, so I, I want to ensure that this doesn't. But just remember when you say something, though, and say you're not accusing someone, it, it, it does, it, it's fine, say it, but it does go out into the universe. Well, right, that's why, I'm, that's why I'm really qualifying this because it is truly just a hypothetical, but I want you to understand that as somebody who studies game theory, as somebody who is trying to examine all possibilities whenever we're looking into the unknown, you have to run through every iteration, right? Like, uh, as, as looking at this from a third-party objective perspective, you have to understand that there's a scenario where you and Ryan run a corrupt stream. Now you invite yeah. me in there. Oh, well, sorry. You, 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 can't, okay. you can't use the terms we run a corrupt stream. I no, just, that's, no. that's right, what right. I'm saying. I'm, again, I qualified it, right? Uh, uh, right? This is a hypothetical. There's a hypothetical okay. realm where you guys are, are running a corrupt stream and you invite me in there to see everything on the back end. There are a lot of bad downside to that for both parties. There's a downside for me where uh, you could suddenly find a Trojan on your server and claim that I was the only stranger who had access, right? There's a downside for you where I can come in, see that the whole thing is corrupt and uh, you know, go to whistleblow and now all of a sudden you have to put out that fire. There's a downside to the public in the sense that I now have access to all of the backroom uh, stuff and then I get to go play on the stream. So you don't know to what degree my knowledge extends to corrupt this. I don't know to what degree your integrity is in place. I have, there's so much trust involved. And in a system that already requires too much trust, imparting more onto the customer is just unnecessary risk. That's well, the vantage point through at, which I'm looking at it. At, at, the, at that point, I didn't see you as a customer. I think you played once, but I understand your point. The other thing that I would say to that is, I guess, not hypothetically, when you are not guilty of something, you don't think of those things because totally you just understand want to be that. I, I, want, I get that. You just want to be transparent and let people know that you're really on it and doing the best thing you can. So I guess I, you know, wouldn't have the ability at that time to think out those hypotheticals because they're not even a possibility because it's not true. So for me, I'm not thinking at that level. I'm thinking at a level is just, and again, I mean this respectfully, I swear, it's just in my head, it's like, what the fuck's Berkey doing? Like, I don't get it. Like, 
look, man, like I'm getting ahead of this. I'm doing everything. I'm being as transparent as anyone would be. I'm doing what the poker community literally wants, which is reporting everything, including somebody that fucking did what he did on my team. And I put it out immediately. It's because I don't want there to be anything that I'm not putting out there. So I guess I can only say, Matt, that we could, we could, and again, I'm not being sarcastic. We could speak in hypotheticals. We can speak of like all these things you said. I'm not saying those things aren't a factor and you're thinking at those levels and all that, but I'm not during that time because what I'm thinking is, yeah, you're not going to touch my system. You're not going to go into it. You're going to walk in and you're going to look and you're going to see what you don't like, which is where the server is. And then the commentator walks back into the booth and how we're set up. You know, for me, it wasn't any more deep than that and right, you were and basically so, offering berkey what you offered doug right. the same thing and and then yeah. i know matt had a problem with 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 doug letting him in there because he was going to play but i mean this is this is just like a fact doug ryan and i were up there we pulled three chairs up i sat backwards in a chair in the middle of the room and we talked and yep. we talked and then we got up and we walked down the stairs. There, there wasn't any, uh, there wasn't anything touched. There wasn't anything done, Doug. And again, I know we can, we just have to be careful that, like, I'm not just being so trusting with someone. But there's no way to know something or to breach our system with sitting in the middle of a room, going, okay, why is that filing cabinet there? How come this? Well, here, Doug, this is why. And that's what we wanted to offer Matt. And I offered the same thing to Joey. It's not to try to be naive or to try to take more risk uh, from a, a customer or whatever you said, it's literally, so you can, and, and, and you could still go back out there and say that they need to change this. This is a problem. This is a problem. You know, you said we had a call once and I said, you know, don't put that out there. I, and that's, I'm bringing up myself. You didn't even have to, what I was alluding to is let me put it out there. Let me put it out there. Let me fall on the sword um, for what I told you, because you had called me and you refreshed me on this. And I didn't remember this, but I guess we had a conversation. You said at 9 AM and I told you most of the things that Kyle told you. And I know that most people don't believe this, but the people who know me, I really fucking don't remember exactly what we said because I've been on 9,000 calls. And, um, and so for me, it wasn't like, Hey, Matt, don't go tell anyone. It was like, Hey, Matt, let me tell everyone. Like, let me get this information out. Like, come look at everything. Here's what we're doing now. Our stream is safer than it's ever been. I'm not saying it's bulletproof at all. I'm just saying, like, because of this, of course, there's so many things that are being watched and happening and changed to to the better, which is what's going to be, what comes out of this in the end is going to be good. But in the meantime, you know, there's a lot of things that were fucked up about it. And, and so for me, it's just like, you know, let me put it out. Let me get ahead of it. Let it not be that. So that's the only thing I ever cared about. I never was going to, as you know, I never not answered a question for you. I never not answered one untrue. And I don't need to. I mean, th this is what it is. And like I said, we go back to it. This is just right now, two things. And there's a guy on stream I don't, on Twitter, and I can't, I don't want to pull it up, but man, he said everything perfect. It's that Lex O poker. And he was like, if this, you know, like we're here because somebody called with Jack high, we get that as poker players, people out of the community don't understand that. And they're like, no, th th this is fine. She just read him or whatever. That's all bullshit. We know that this doesn't make any sense, but it also is a fact that if she did say, I thought I had a three, this conversation is never even had. And Garrett doesn't leave. And, and if Garrett doesn't do what he does, and I'm not saying anything, he do whatever he wants, but if he doesn't handle it the way he did, and that was his choice, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. There is no right now, nothing that anyone has found, but conspiracies and thoughts about cheating other than the fucking hand didn't make sense. And so yeah, that's why it's a little hard to absorb to shut our business down for a couple of months until we can get permits and change the room around and do these things because we don't, it's not like we have, all we now have is that we have figured out we can be a lot stronger and we need to be, and we will be. So I guess that's like, we could go back and forth a ton on this. I really don't want to, unless you, unless you really want to. No, I, 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 have, I, have, I have two, I have two simple follow-ups that well, uh, maybe are in line with this. Link. Okay. We need a new link. The Wait, link why? Is gonna end. Yeah. Why? 
30 minutes. Yeah, but it's logged in. We pay. Um, whatever. I, I'll, I'll make it quick, and then we'll get you out of here. Uh, so is, the, is my the, link going to expire? I Well, that's what Guapo told me. Yeah. So. Okay, well, I do um, want to make sure we finish. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah send, if if it gets cut off, I'll send you another link. Okay. Um, I I want to ask as, as the first follow up. Uh, so if I understand where you're coming from, from not thinking any cheating takes place or has taken place and wanting to continue to run, I, I think that's well within your right. I, I obviously, didn't say, I didn't say I don't think. Okay, cheating sorry. Takes, apologies. There's no, no proof. proof. Correct. Right. There's no proof. Right. Uh, so with that said, if uh. Over the next six months, while you continue to run and make small adjustments, but unable to make the big adjustments. So in other words, you don't shut the stream down and continue to run. If somebody does get cheated due to vulnerabilities on the back end, if it does come out that there was an inside man all along and he just continued to take advantage of these vulnerabilities, what would be the recourse then of Husser Casino Live? Matt, I've never had that question asked to me, so I'm not going to shotgun it. I don't know. That, that's fine. That I yeah, I'd, I would I would have to cross that bridge when it came because you're the first person that ever asked that, and then it's fine. And I didn't know you were going to ask, so I just I don't want to shotgun an answer to that. But I will tell you this. Um, sorry, I'm getting a call. I need to. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay. Um, I will tell you this. And sorry that it turned sideways because when the call came in, somehow it's it'll you're fine. Have to wait you're for fine. It. Um, I will tell you this. If I find something like that, I'm going to put it out. I'm going to put it out. I'm going to put it out as soon as I know something like that. Uh, so I'll cross that bridge when, when it does come. But I will say this. I don't think there is a live stream out there, including any ones that you've referenced, that could, if somebody really wanted to figure out a way to breach your system or, or come up with some type of angle, I don't think anyone could be 100% secure not 100 percent, certainly yeah, but yeah not but not but high but high like 99 and, okay okay and so all i could tell you is i'm going to make those changes it's not going to take six months i'm going to do that i still am open for you to fire over to me or anybody else any suggestion you know or have that i don't know about for us to implement that uh, I'm I happy to. I, I spoke with Ryan and he told me it's impossible. And I know for a fact, multiple streams do it. You can run okay. the stream without seeing the cards. And I also know for a fact, Ryan has refused to do so. There's something being executed on the other side. Uh, uh, Andrew Milner tweeted about this, that he's going to execute something where the cards read on delay and don't get passed back to production until after the delay ends. Ryan likes to produce in real time and direct his cameramen. And that's another whole security breach where they're operating over a radio sure. signal that can be intercepted so, very easily. So right? I have to, that's news to me that you had that conversation and, and, and the content of it. I, I, so that's something that I, yeah, I don't, I don't want to drop things on you. So uh, I'm happy to not go down this route. If, if you're not equipped yeah, to answer it, it's just like when you asked me the hypothetical of possibility, if, if I find someone six months, like, I don't know how to answer that right now. So that would be like, this would be another subject that I don't know any, I didn't, I'm not, privy to the conversation but i don't want to go down you understand rabbit. where i'm coming from though like that's why i'm saying the answer is to stop what you're doing correct and ensure that that possibility doesn't it's it's not even an iteration that can take place right that's well, the natural I, I order do, of things i do understand what you're saying but then i would have to be repetitive and say everything i said so i, I under i understand how you feel and you're and you're dead well, I, sure I, uh, I get that. I'm not. I'm not questioning how much you believe that. Uh, yeah, I, I, th this isn't a feeling to me. This is a matter of risk. It's just okay. a, a risk whatever proposition. Your, whatever your reason is for stating that, I know that you. I stand understand. Behind. I understand, but I, I want to make you understand that what's happening here is that there's risk taking place, and either either Hustler Casino Live is taking on the risk, or the customer is currently in its operation operative state. The customer is. If you shut down, now Hustler Casino Live is taking the risk. In my opinion, I believe that the operator should be the one at risk always, not the consumer. Well, I, I know that because you stated that. Okay. Yeah, I mean, his yeah. side, look, his side is simple. It's, um, he made changes, well, Hustler Casino Live made changes, enough changes that the people that want to play feel comfortable enough to play. So they're going to continue their business. And you both don't see eye to eye on that, but that's where we stand right now. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean... You know, uh, 
it, it is what it is. Obviously, we're, we're going to have uh, disagreements as far as this stuff goes, especially when uh, it's unclear what the changes are, but it's very clear what the uh, security issues are. Um, but, you know, uh, I, I'm happy to... I'm happy to stick to my guns and I'm happy to, uh, you know, accept that you're going to stick to yours. I'm not here to try to change anyone's mind. I'm here to try to just educate everybody involved as best as I possibly can to my knowledge and to the knowledge from those that I speak to that are far, far, far more intelligent when it comes to this kind of stuff. Um, whatever happens out of that happens. Uh, you, you know, like, I, I don't think that I'm the person who gets to be in control here. And I think that that's something that's been a, a little bit maybe misconstrued. Okay. Um, I had another follow-up, but it, it's escaped me. Uh, is there anything else that you want to get off your chest before we wrap um, this? <laughs> no, I, I don't have anything specific to get off my chest other than just to say that um, what I've already said, and that is a ton of changes have been made. A ton more will be made. Um, I, I, I want to believe that we will be as tight as possible when this is over, depending on what decisions we make. I'm going to full, I'm going to put out a full report when it's over good and bad, whatever's in there, just because the community wants to know. Um, and we're going to continue to do what we do. And, uh, I think the last thing that I would want to say is, and I told you this before we got on to the call or maybe talked about it last night. Um, I do think that a lot of things got out of hand. As you know, we talked about a ton of people that contacted us both individually, probably the same party and kind of laid down. That up. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's, that's probably what you were thinking. Laid down some massive crap both ways about us. And sometimes that does, it may not have affected you, but it affected me in the sense that I'm like, wow, if, if some of these things are true, <clears throat> like Matt's just after us, like this isn't, and his team, like this yeah. isn't just. So let me, let me give a little context to the audience. Yeah, so this, that yeah, this part's important and kind of where things got a little out of hand. Uh, so that. I guess part of the, the fuel that drove you towards uh, having belief that I was coming after you was there was a rumor that was spread to you that Conrad was, uh, telling people in the raver camp that we believed or we had a conspiracy that uh the hustler cheating ring was like 20 deep and went all the way to the top including you nick or sorry you ryan and others um right. we're actually going to show a dm that i sent guapo uh it was the exact opposite that information was brought to us so mm -hmm. there was a, a small collection of people i don't even know them this is from an anonymous account that i don't know yeah, uh, I, I know who I know who it is now because okay. the person wound up calling me. Yeah, and... they called us as well, and they met Garrett in person. So... Yeah, I, I only know that because you told me he met Garrett and they met Garrett in person, which is just, right. this is insane. What this is is a ploy for these people to try to collect a bounty. That's what I was told. Um, I was also told that, like you said, Conrad and this person were close and Con Conrad, I don't believe this, but I'm just saying, like, when I first heard it, I'm like, you know, what's going on here? Yeah. But, like, Conrad will take a nice, big, long toke off the bong and then, like, call this person and <laughs> talk to him about this 20-person tw <laughs> this ring. And and then, Matt, I don't want to get into what at all. But then the person then did try to convince me of a bunch of things that you said mostly about ryan not about me um and and like i said now that i know the person that we talked and we finally talked which is look i take as much accountability or more than you even because i should have picked up the at this point if i'm being just really honest i didn't trust you because of everything I was hearing from you and then the things I was hearing in the background. And so for me, I'm trying to gather this info, like why is Matt coming after us like this? Like what's the agenda? What What's the purpose of this? If this is just about true integrity of the game and what you just stated, which I, I clearly believe you, then why is this happening? Why are these things being said and done? And why is, you know, whatever. But this was clearly somebody or somebody's working both ends for a purpose. And I believe that purpose was the bounty because this bounty that they all put out really made everyone go crazy. And, um, and like I said, we probably wouldn't even be here 
if a lot of that didn't take place, because that's a lot of the reason that I, that my, uh, whatever went up really high when I was hearing these things. And, um, and then I found out about the Kyle thing and then it, they, then my, whatever you call it went rose even higher. And I went into a mode. I told Christian about this and I think, uh, your guy there, uh, what's the, no offense, but what's the Italian dude's name? Brian. Brian. Yeah. Tortoise. Like, <laughs> the tortoise. Sorry, dude. Um, you know, that, even Christian said this, and I think he, Brian said this, it's like, sometimes I act on emotion. And when I fired off that missile to you about live at the bike, that was emotion because I was coming off some, some shit that was being done and said, and I just couldn't understand you at the time, like what your motive was here. I take accountability for that. I should have picked up the phone, but I didn't like, it's like you, like you just kind of alluded to the fact like, Nick, why would I pick up the phone when possibly you have to be looked into? Like I may not get the exact, you know, info because you may want to manipulate it. Well, the reason I didn't call you is because I think, well, I can't trust this dude. He's only going to tell me whatever anyways. Cause I thought I, I thought you and I, you know, at the time we're like working together in a sense, not, not together, but like where I'm being open to you. And then I hear these things and have things sent to me. And then I list, by the way, and only listen to a 26 minute recording. Don't, you know, so let's get that clear. And so then I'm just like, Whoa, I, I, I have, Matt has an agenda here. I don't know what it is, but I need to like, like Brian said, and even Christian said, I need to react to this now again. Well, redundant. You don't though. That's, uh, that, that's where I'll disagree. Uh, so I, I mean, I don't want to tell you how to run your business and I don't want to tell you like how to deal with PR, but I can't imagine that you ran all this by your PR team. Like there's right. just but no I, way they like, would if, sign off on if that. If you were to let me finish, what I'm trying to say is this has nothing to do with PR. This has to do with just my human side saying this is not right. So yeah. of course not. Like the best thing for me to do is to never say a word, Agreed. literally. But then when I, but then when I do that, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a catch then, 22 then it, it's a it, catch 22 because i'm hiding shit and i'm not mm -hmm. responding when i put out an update there's ten thousand people that love it and another ten thousand people who want to shoot holes into it and think it's shady and so or then take 10 conspiracy theories that they go off that or they say oh that ain't true they're just saying this so again you you could make the comment that i would disagree with that and i'm sure you didn't run this by your pr company look matt i i get it I, I understand what you're saying and what you say is always like, this is factually true, but what I said before that should make you not say that, that when I make one comment or I do something, sometimes that could have been on emotion and not something that, like I told you, I yeah. put out that thing and you can ask Christian, Christian, did I text you and say, this doesn't feel right to me? Fuck. Yeah, hundred percent. Like 15 and minutes like, after. I yeah. just don't like how I feel. It feels gross because I, it, at the end of the day, it's not really who I am. But as Brian would say, maybe the little bit of the Italian temper, a little bit of anger. <laughs> sometimes I fire a missile and I'm like, ah, oh, shit. Like, right, so I, I, I can forgive that. I, I can forgive <laughs> emotional reactions and anger and things like that. He but, deals with me all the time. <laughs> but but what yeah, I, I mean, what I don't think you understand is that uh, the stakes go up whenever you start to attempt to drag my I, character. Oh, yeah. This was never. Th th this is the big thing that I want. I, I want to make clear. Every criticism that I've ever had has been directly towards operations, protocols, how you do business. Never once have I assassinated anybody's character. There's a lot of stuff that keeps getting thrown about that I consider to be noise. As far as like your background, your character, Ryan's background. I haven't. I haven't said a peep about that stuff. I, I already know that. And, and the thing is, is, uh, it, it, again, well, first of all, I know that you don't get this and it's okay. It's almost like not funny, but it's like when you say something like, I know you don't get this, or uh, I can forgive that. Sometimes you speak from a holier than thou platform where I'm telling you that I get that. I'm telling you that I know that's minus EV. I'm telling you that I understand it. And so then again, right, but you're also telling me that I shouldn't, I shouldn't condemn you for it. I didn't say you shouldn't condemn me for it. Well, that's, just, that's kind of the implication. Well, no, I was just saying why I did it. You can condemn me for whatever you want. I never said you shouldn't condemn me for it. Okay. You, when, when I did, when, listen, if I shoot a missile over into your bow, you have every right to respond or condemn me for it. If it's not something that I should have done, what I'm trying to do is say, 
like I would have preferred I didn't do that. I'm not looking for any grace from you. I'm just explaining why. Sure. I, I and I understand that. And I'm I'm happy oh. that that's that's gotten out to the public and that it's on record. Yeah. It, it's it's like, look, uh, you know, yeah, I don't know what other uh, what to say more than than what's already been said, uh, because it would be redundant, but but it's just like uh I had another point, but I forgot it. So whatever. Basically, shit just got out of hand because like some people in the background were trying to collect the bounty and they were going through these like back channels and like saying shit about both camps and like pretty much just trying to set each other up. And then it got out of hand and and then it hit the Twitter streets for the world to see. And 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 here's another and here's another truth. First of all, I do respect Matt for wanting to get this out what i mean by that is when we talked at 3 30 last night in the morning what my goal was is after i heard that we both were contacted by these same individuals and then i realized that there's a lot of bullshit to this and that just like christian said that this has just become so blown out of proportion what my whole goal was but of course i i posted that so it couldn't be but what my whole goal was is i was i wanted to just come on here and talk about that Talk about the fact that what Christian just said, that this has gotten way out of hand, that I don't like that. I do regret that. And and that not that we're buddies, but that I don't want any beef at the end of the day. And I regret the way this whole thing has went down from a million pieces of this, including a lot of outside sources. And, you know, even myself, I'm probably going to take a break off Twitter for the next few weeks just because, man, I can't just have any more of that toxic shit hit my body. And I'm not trying to make any excuses, man. I own whatever I have done or not done. And so I just was simply answering that question just to let you know where I was coming from. But believe me, the smartest thing, again, redundantly, I could ever have done is not put out, only put out a dumb shit update that a PR company would put out saying, we're working on it, we're working diligently, and all the bullshit people do just to avoid the subject. But I made a decision not to do that and to try to communicate and to try to let everyone into the den, but it has backfired on me yeah so, you're, you're just not corporate that that's and that's that's good we appreciate that too. yeah because you know stones took a lot of heat for not talking not not communicating not updating <coughs> but it just seemed like and again i'm not looking for any sympathy it Stones just also to, shut down yeah 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 okay but what i'm trying to say is i like i chose that route and I'm taking the shrapnel for it. If I would have done the other thing, I would have taken the shrapnel for that. That's just how I choose to do it. It's just like, you know, for years, like I've, you know, I've been in business for years in big businesses and I've walked into meetings exactly what I'm wearing now. I am not corporate. I'm never going to be corporate if like, I don't wear suits. So yeah, I chose to be me and, and I, and I took some heat for that and that's fine. And, you know, like I said, my whole goal was to come on here and to, I didn't want to talk about the recording you did because you said, you know, I fired that missile. We need to talk about it. I said, okay. Um, you know, I, I wish that I, I didn't do that. And like I said, the only reason I would question integrity is because I would have thought you would have known that that's illegal and you did it. And so I just was thinking, okay, if you want to talk integrity, let's do it. Um, I wish I didn't because you know, whatever. And then when you told me you didn't know, fine, you didn't know. It's, I, it's, I mean, it's I, yeah, me. no offense, but like, uh, I, I just, I don't, I think this is a silly back and forth conversation to have. Like, to me, trying to drag my integrity is just like trying to create some sort of weak spot where you feel I'm strong. And, uh, you know, this, this is whatever, like, like I said, man, I'm an open book. If you think you have dirt on me, or but this goes to anybody this literally quit, quit goes to anybody that. you're 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 don't we're not going down that road no I'm I, I, mean, I understand I, i'm just saying like this goes to I anybody think, like if if somebody thinks that they have some sort of smudge on my rep and they want to go public with it i encourage them to do so like i understand I, i'm not speaking we've from some about, soapbox i i we're, believe in what i believe in i'm ethical i believe in my integrity and i believe in you know moral the the morals and the ethics that i was raised by so if there are breaches along the way, I'll take responsibility for them as I am in this current situation. Like, of course, had I known that uh, this was unlawful, I wouldn't have done it. Um, and, right. and, you and know, here you we know, are. I, 
I feel the same way about myself. So that's why I say the things about myself. Let's maybe get off that back and forth because, as you know, before this started, I told you I don't want to go back and forth. I don't yeah. want to debate the subject or have somebody get upset. Like, I, I, I don't want that. I, I've already taken accountability. I've answered your questions. I've told you why this. You told me why that. There's, there's, I'm not questioning your integrity. Yeah, I, I don't, fact, I don't yeah. have anything else to, to ask yeah. you or to get out of this conversation. So, right. uh, you know, basically if, if there's something else that you want to address, uh, happy to, otherwise we can, we can wrap it here. Sure. What time is Hustler show tonight? Um, 5 PM. To- <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tune in. Let's go. All right. All right. All thanks, right. Nick. Thank, Thank you for joining us. Glad we cleared the air a little bit. Okay. All right, did see we you clear it a little bit, or did we clear it? <laughs> it's 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 clear. Okay, cool. If he can play on Friday, <laughs> <laughs> not playing on well, Friday. He, he was gonna he I was tried. gonna play he was gonna play and then whatever had heard all What's that stuff on? and then you, you, you spinning play, us around you here. Guys, <laughs> you guys are welcome to play. I don't know. I don't know, man. When this is over and it's all perfect, and play then. Yeah. When you. When when everything is shored up and you feel comfortable releasing the changes, uh, I'll I'll be happy to endorse your stream. Uh, until then, I'm gonna stay very diligent on the security side of things, as I think that that's the place that I serve everybody best. It's the way that I'm most educated in this whole scandal. All right, let's uh, <laughs> let's 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 get uh, continue with the show, I guess, and then uh, we'll talk later. Christian, you, you just can, like you can come on next. You can come on next week, Nick, and we'll we'll uh, we'll debate whether it's uh, gravy or sauce. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, to me, it's gravy, but I have actually. <laughs> I, I, I said next week. I said next week. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what do you say? Said, I said I said next week we'll discuss. <laughs> oh, fine, whatever. All right. <laughs> oh, just mess. All right, thanks, Nick. No, we appreciate you coming on, Nick, for sure. All right, thanks, you Nick. guys uh, do a good show. Whatever. <laughs> good thanks. All right, thank you. Uh, all right. Let's 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 hear from you guys. You patiently sat quiet. Uh, you know, I kind of told Nick that uh, we would keep the, the questioning pretty concise to me, uh, but I'm sure that you guys have things that you want to pose. Anyone? Go ahead, Conrad. You got a shitty and grin on <laughs> yeah, your face. Yeah, he does have a shitty and grin. I mean, what the fuck, man? Like, not leverage? Like, what, what, are we, what, are, what, is it, what is it for then? Like, why would you ever post something like that and then not call it leverage? Like, and I don't know, man, whatever. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm annoyed. Uh, I think he's being genuine in that it was an emotional response. Yeah. Uh, and I think that he doesn't see it as uh, trying to strong arm me. Um, but to me, I, I think that that was abundantly I clear. I think the way he sees it uh, from my interpretation is that he saw it as trying to sort of point out a, a hypocrisy or perceived one yep. and instead instead it came off to you as more of a strong arming like blackmail type of to thing. me that was a threat yeah that and, was just and that's, a, that's, an that's how it threat. read to me as well yeah but i i can see how he would think that it was uh more him trying to point out hypocrisy not really thinking of all angles that it could be perceived mm-hmm. i don't know yeah well i mean that seems probably true based off of the line of questioning where I'm presenting for instances and he's just saying like, well, I don't think that way. I don't think that way into the future. Right. Uh, th- things of that nature. To be clear, he said that he had a, in that tweet, he said he had a podcast ready to go. Oh, he, said he said he had a podcast coming out Tuesday. Okay. Yeah. This is the, the big difference. And you guys can stop me if I'm going to be too harsh here. As soon as he crosses that threshold of going into like a pseudo character assassination in public. That's when we, we just have to stop and say, actions have consequences. We can't just say emotions run wild. I'm impulsive. Therefore I should be forgiven. It's true. Yeah. Right. But- because we're doing irreparable damage. There are people now that now think that you're a shitty human being for, for this Berkey. Just with the, the insinuation. I, I mean, to be fair, I think we got ahead of it in a, in a way, but I do believe what you're saying is true that if we had just said nothing and let him speak his piece tomorrow on an open mic without me there to mitigate it, 
uh, that absolutely would have been a character well, assassination. It, 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 yeah, we our actions were instructed by that tweet. Correct. The other big problem I have is think of when he uses those graphics. He's only used those graphics when there's a huge, and I'm saying a huge update with that whole Robbie Garrett scandal. Mm -hmm. You mean like the picture of the text? The picture yeah, the of the picture. Text, mm -hmm. text. The only other time he's used it is for you. Yeah. And that's another huge problem to me because what he's doing is amplifying the importance of why this is a huge problem. He's saying, I have something huge about Matt, about Matt Berkey. I want to basically flay him here. Okay. Yep. So that's another huge problem that just, again, is, is hurting your credibility if we don't get ahead of this story. So when we add all these things up, what we're left with is just him or, or us seeing it as vengeful, right? Another thing that doesn't reconcile is both him and Ryan accused you of doing this as a live at the bike hit. That doesn't reconcile with this story. Pri either. Privately, he retracted that. It does. Publicly, he did not, but privately, he did. It's a huge problem. Yeah. Right. Uh, I agree. Like that uh, is that is attacking your integrity. Yeah. On look, that side. I, I agree. I, I I spoke to him off, like off air or whatever, and I said like, listen, uh, like he was kind of, he was kind of suggesting like maybe there are some things that I've regret that I've done throughout all of this, and uh, I said, you know, no, like I stand by it, like. Of course, uh, I wouldn't have been involved in this capacity if I knew that there was uh, some sort of like legal ramification. But uh, outside of that, like, I don't, I don't regret scrutinizing the security. I don't regret being public about that. I don't regret, uh, you know, working with my peers who I felt like I could trust to try to get to the bottom of mm. something that looks incredibly fishy, right? Uh, I don't regret any of this. And if you if you listen to what he said, he multiple times said if Garrett hadn't hadn't stormed off and saw that this hand was like weird or whatever, we wouldn't even be here. We wouldn't be discussing this. Operations would just continue as they were. And he's saying that like in a way of like we shouldn't even be dealing with this mess. And all I'm hearing is you should be thankful for this mess. Right. Right. Because they like exposed vulnerabilities, and now it. We don't have to deal with that in the future potentially right and that's that's it. been my issue all along i know people think i'm grandstanding and and like shouting from a soapbox but like i'm truly not i said the same thing that i had issue with doug coming out and wholeheartedly vouching for their system when within minutes i can find 10 things that are not just wrong but like easily breachable and we're investigating a cheating scandal so it's like if something happened it's a higher probability that one of these easily low-hanging fruit scenarios occurred than some like wild, elaborate fucking ordeal where there are 20 people involved and they're rehearsing and you know they're setting the deck in a certain way. Like this is the nonsense that, that was getting spewed at us. So somebody was messaging. I was a little confused because there. It's, yeah. You guys were kind of keeping this anonymous, but I don't know who it is. But someone was messaging both of you and trying to organize something so they could collect a bounty or what so was going I on So I think there? they were information fishing in order to try to go to Deeb and get a bounty okay. or to Joey or whatever. But basically And you're keeping this name private? Uh I don't know. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't say, just whatever. I, I don't Cuz I'm about to say fuck this person. Well, who to be fair, I, sneaky, I I don't know who it guy. is. Yeah. I, I actually don't know. Uh, I do, it was just a screen name. Just like whatever. Okay. It's um but basically they came to us and they were like information fishing and they were being very elusive and wanted to meet in person and only giving like little snippets here and there. And they kept asking like what my leading theory was and things along those lines. So Nick had mentioned that like they told him that uh, I was harsh on Ryan, but not harsh on Nick. And that's true because they came to us with a full conspiracy as to how Nick was the sole cheater. Oh, okay. And I obviously look, here, here's something that I find to be remarkable here. As an objective third party who has no skin in the game, I don't care what the fucking outcome is here at right. all. All I care about is a secure game. I have criticized every single human being. I've scrutinized every person who could potentially be involved in this. I've called Garrett into question. I've called Robbie into question. I've called Rip, Nick, Ryan, all of them. I've questioned all of them, both privately and publicly. The only people that are upset with me or Ryan, Nick, and Robbie. Somehow Garrett is not upset with me. 
despite being called into question, right? Somehow, uh, you know, like the, the other people that, that there are conspiracies floating around with, they're not upset, right? <laughs> they're, they're just living life because they understand that somebody with a microphone who is trying to improve upon things isn't going to do it with kid gloves. It's not going to be done in a way where, you know, you're, you're massaging the truth in a way that's palatable to the person that you're speaking to because you don't owe that to them. They are running a business that's profiting. It's, you know, it's profiteering off of people in our community. So you just hold them to the fire, right? And I understand that Nick hears me come on the mic and say, I think today's the day that hustlers should shut their stream down. And here's the X, Y, and Z as to why. I understand that he hears that as Berkey wants Hustler down. And he has an alternative motive, alter, ulterior motive behind that. When in fact, I was as diplomatic as possible. I, I said it many times. I'm saying this with love. I'm coming from a place where I want our community to improve. These things need to be fixed before you deal another hand on this stream, right? And that was the way that I framed it. He's saying my messaging is off and that it hurts him and it upsets him. I don't know what messaging exists that is going to result in saying, shut your business down. <laughs> that's going to be palatable. Right? Yeah. So uh, I, I struggle a lot. I struggle a lot with, I mean, we, we spoke to him for almost an hour and I feel like it was three minutes worth of, of information. I struggle a lot with it when he backtracks on uh, why he put the tweet out. I agree that it was also emotional, but mm -hmm. it was a gotcha. Yeah, for sure. I yeah. definitely agree. Well, and then it gets everybody's Im imaginations going, and then they're like, what did he do? And right. then everyone's thinking of this, some big elaborate thing that you did, which is honestly, if, if he learned anything from when Perkins tried to say he had information that was bigger than Postal, and then everyone just got mad at him because it wasn't. The last thing you want to do is put out a nothing burger. You don't want to hype everybody up because they're just setting everyone up for disappointment. Yeah. I do have a question. Um, Robbie did say in one of um, Joey's streams that there was something else that happened and we'd never heard from it. Um, are we ever going to get an update for that? Oh, you're talking about how she alluded to the fact that there was a second person. That is correct. Uh, behind the scenes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't really want to press Nick on that because uh, I don't know where the original source of the information. I had heard that also, but yeah. now I had heard it from people that I don't trust any longer. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to throw that in his face if it's just hearsay. But it does seem strange that I'm hearing it from people both investigating and from Robbie's camp, yep. which makes me think that, you know, there is some probability that that was leaked from the inside out. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you know, to be quite frank, if I were in Nick's shoes, I wouldn't release another goddamn detail. But I also, I also would, if I were in Nick's shoes, I would shut the stream down. No. Because I don't think it's good enough to say we're making changes. You can't see them, and I can't tell you what they are, but we're making them, right? Like that's to me that's that's not enough. And I get it because he's coming from a vantage point of like, well, these people are going to pony up anyway. Like they're here to play, and they they don't they trust us as it was, so they don't care if we improve. And fine, that's fair. Um, but if down the line one of those people ultimately gets robbed out of a lot of EV <laughs> because there was an inside man and it comes out of this investigation. Like, I thought that that was a really important question to answer, yeah. right? What if an inside man is the end result of this investigation? What, what responsibility does Hustler Casino Live have, right? I think that's a very reasonable question to ask it I agree. because we're not shutting down the stream. So not shutting down the stream is operating off the impetus that they're absolutely confident that they're, they're innocent. And then that makes me question, well, how, how much can we trust the investigation if ultimately there would be some culpability to Hustler Casino Live should it be an inside job, right? Like, wouldn't it make sense if you're controlling both the business and the investigation to not be transparent? And I don't even think you have to go retroactive with this. Like, mm -hmm. you're saying that if there was some cheating with this whole Robbie scandal, then how does everything look? We know based on the Brian situation um, that we see a through line yeah. of how everything could have been cheated. 
Right. Like you and I in particular, because we know the system very, very well. Yeah. Somehow, somehow that became an after story of, oh, and also a casino employee happened to steal 15,000 off of her stack, but don't worry, that has no correlation. That's crazy to me. Crazy that, to me. That, and that's when I made the statement. When that news came out, it was like, okay, enough is enough. Like we can't give the benefit of the doubt anymore. There is, there is reasonable cause to believe that there is a breach with inside the four walls of production. One of your production members has been caught stealing. You know, we don't know why, but there are a million whys that would tie it to a cheating scandal. We have to examine that. Like, I, I don't understand this. I'm not the one being black and white. I'm trying to be as gray as possible. There's, there's such a wide spectrum of possibilities that could have occurred. And so many of them fall on the negative side of risk for the consumer, right? And I understand that you could just say like, okay, well then they should just stop showing up. It's like, okay, that's, that's a dangerous game to play, I think. Well, the frustration also, Burke, I know you say shut down for a week. They can shut down for a day, fix all the vulnerabilities. I, in my opinion, yes. Right. Like, uh, I, I think you and I know the system well enough where like, this is a 24 to 36 hour correction, uh, with the exception of segregating commentary from, from, um, from the uh, but, server room. But like, I would just not have commentary. Um, I disagree. What if, they did, uh, what if they did do those changes throughout the weekends and stuff when they're off? Right. They, they could have because because that's what we're saying 24 36 that's true they do have weekends off right. I, but he said he implemented like a bunch of changes are do you do you guys know what those are besides the pat downs and wands no, no. And that's okay. what i'm saying gotcha. like okay. if he if he followed i have a list here and i bring it up to him because we agreed that we weren't going to get into this because he said he's not privy of the security but i have a list here that says uh six things that are absolute vulnerabilities right Number one, the control room and commentary are only separated by a wall. Commentators freely pass through the control room with real live time or with live real time info. Number two, the server is unprotected. It's housed in a highly trafficked control room. Now he said it's he, behind a. Yeah, a, he, said, a, a he said it was a, behind a cage. Right, and I have to cage. trust that he's telling the truth. Yeah. And that's fine. So that is one upgrade that they've made. Number three, real time info and graphics are visible to everybody in the control room, and the control room seems to be busy. Number four. The control room's not a privileged area. There's audio of Ryan telling those not working to leave. Uh, there's confirmation from Ryan that the cameramen, sound techs, graphic operators, owners, and floor staff all have access to the control room. Uh, there's confirmation from players that they've spent time in the control room. See Joey's pod with Nick Airball, who talks about it. Also, you know, they let Doug in there freely. Number five, there's no card control. The casino has no they're, they're hands off when it comes to the cards. So Ryan and other members of production are controlling the decks before the stream, during the stream, and after the stream. It's a major, major point of vulnerability. And number six, there's a comm system with the cameramen where real-time info is being shared from Ryan who's producing the show to the cameramen. So if you corrected those six things, there's absolutely zero reason to not be public about it. Zero, right? And if you're correcting some of them and not all of them, again, there's zero reason to not just make that statement, right? You can run a stream without whole cards live. You can, I mean, whatever, like Andre and I know these fixes, like you could fix literally everything. And if it's just the commentators that is a problem, run it without commentary for a week. That's better than shutting down. And let's Fine. be real too. You can fix all of those problems with just one fix, which is for nobody literally nobody to know what the cards are right? then you can have free comms correct. i don't care yep. then you can have commentary in the same room i don't care correct because literally nobody knows correct so just fix that yeah you're absolutely right and you know it's something that ryan thinks is impossible so when you when your ep thinks that the solution is impossible how can you tell me that you're making security changes right like at some point somebody has to be held accountable even if the bad thing didn't occur yet, right? Even if the stream was not cheated, even if none of these securities were taken advantage of, we understand that they exist now. So why on earth are we still accepting like negligence, just gross negligence? We didn't accept it from Stones. I don't understand why we're accepting it from Hustler just because they're more popular. It seems wild to me. And it seems wild that I'm getting into... Uh, some sort of character assassination, assassination beef over the internet with 
somebody who A, doesn't know me, and B, doesn't seem to have any understanding of like who I am as a person and, and what I'm going to do whenever confronted with that shit. <laughs> yeah, man. Look, I applaud Nick for some things for facing this head on. I think a lot of people wouldn't. Agreed. It, it, yeah. It's, it's, I, I don't, I don't envy his position. Agreed. Um, but when you're going to be this publicly facing, you have to be very, very careful with what goes out to the public because everything's so meaningful. You are the main point of contact for all information that happens during this investigation and through all of the company. And you can't miss. You have to hit the targets and you have to make sure you're bulletproof with everything. And in this case, we've seen continuously. Uh, I don't care if it's Nick brings on some sort of security expert with him. I don't, I don't care if it's Ryan or someone that knows the system very well. But continuously, he's come on to different podcasts or different shows. And he just hasn't had answers for our big questions, which is how are we improving security? What has been changed other than wanding people down? Which, let's be honest, that is not a comprehensive solution. Right. If I blink twice at you, like we, we only need, especially in poker, it's just like chess. There's, there's these pivotal, pivot, pivotal, pivotal inflection moments where all you need is one decision at one point. Right, and you're not wanting everybody down. There are people on the floor that exactly. are easily accessible, especially from like the two seat, the nine seat, the eight seat. Are we going to wand every single person in the room? Of course room? not. Of course not. That's not a scalable solution. Right. That's why we have to, we absolutely have to secure everything from the back end. Yep. I, I stand by that point. I, you know, I want to address a few other things too. Uh, there's been like all this outcry that, uh, you know, Robbie needs vindication because I've been so insanely critical of her. Uh, I made a joke about this last week whenever she put out the, the go fuck yourself, Matt Berkey thing on Joey Ingram. I've, I, <laughs> I've like towed this line of 50, 50 of, I have no certainty in either direction as to whether or not she cheated or not. The only thing that I've confidently said is I don't think she misread her hand and that the Jack four hand itself is very, very suspect, right? But I've never once called her a cheater. I've never once uh, said anything along those lines. Doug, on the other hand, has dug his heels in to being anywhere between 80 and 99% certain <laughs> that she's guilty. And she goes, I'm neutral on Doug Polk. As well as called her marital affair into question. Yes, right. yes. Right. That was crazy. Right. 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 Uh, again, and I, I, said, I said this to Nick, at no point throughout all of this have I questioned anybody's character or, uh, or, or like extracurriculars. Personal life. Yeah, I've, I've completely shied away from the noise. Because I don't think a character assassination is ever going to prove anything unless it's a scenario where somebody is needing to be proven as a liar and you want to show that they're disingenuous in other scenarios, right? Or, or lack integrity in other scenarios, right? But that hasn't been the case. Like, not once have I questioned anybody's extracurricular activities or, or uh, their character as a whole. I've questioned integrity. I've questioned protocols. I've questioned how they carry themselves and operate business. And I've questioned some really fucked up hands, right? And that's what we're here to do. So I understand that there's some sort of tone with the way that I speak and it seems to rub people the wrong way. I think that's what it is. It does. It, it, it's, it's, <laughs> I mean, it I've been rubbed it, the wrong way by it before. It happens, <laughs> it happens, you know, like we're all your friends here, but it happens to even internally where like sometimes your delivery comes off as like you it comes off like you're omnipotent yeah like something like that and people don't like it and and it's not your intention it's just kind of how it comes off at times and then like you know there's there's a rift there so i don't know i'm just saying that's that's sometimes yeah i mean i just you know, like we all have like our thing you know? no i mean i get it i just i don't know any better way to communicate this stuff right like i guess that uh like Joey's another great example. Like I've been critical of him like in the past, even during this process in some regards. And it's like, we, we work together. Like he never once got emotional about it. He understands he's been critical of me. I never once hear Joey criticize me and think like, fuck that guy, clip it out, send it to the whole group, say like, okay, tomorrow we're going after it. Like never, never once because I know what he's doing. I know what his intentions are. And I understand that like, we're not perfect. But you were mad at Doug for some time. Right? Doug's different. Okay. Doug was a character assassinator. 
period always right he did exactly the thing that i'm saying we don't do and i don't think joey does it either right you never come for a man's character unless you have tangible proof that discredits him right yeah, that's fair. and that was the whole thing that i had gripe with and that's the thing that i've always desperately tried to avoid so yeah i get it like okay uh I, i'm not the most palatable voice but you know instead of getting upset maybe prove me wrong <laughs> right and i know that that's confirming the arrogance <laughs> that oh was intentional <laughs> Well, that was intentional. Oh, that's so good. I mean, yeah. I, I gotta Come give, at me, bitches. I got to give you guys a lamp. Oh, my no, God, bro. Okay. Yo, we're, we're, clipping, I'm, I'm, we're clipping that out. All right. Well, sure. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll let you clip this one out instead. I'm at the fuck around and find out point, all right? Like, yep. uh, I, I have no patience or time. I'm a 40-year-old man. I'm 40. I'm grown. Like, I have no time or patience for, like, this bullshitty high school drama he said, she said, like, I haven't even reached out to Deeb. I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't give a fuck. It was my mistake. I shouldn't have trusted him, right? I made an error. That's on me. Let's move on, right? Like, I don't give a fuck. I care about the streams being secured. I care about getting to the bottom of this hand one way or another, whether it's uh, in favor of, of uh, justifying what Garrett did or justifying that Robbie's within her right to, to demand it back. Like, I care about getting to truths. That's it. And yeah, there's not going to be a lot of bullshit in between, right? Like, I'm not going to say a bunch of niceties to make people like me. I'm comfortable being disliked. It's fine. As long as I'm being honest and I do carry through my integrity. Like, I don't want to be disingenuous to anyone in this room. I don't ever want to be disingenuous to the audience. Those are the things that are paramount to me. Yeah, and I think, I think, everyone, well said. Re I think everyone respects that. You know, like, yeah. That, that, yeah. That's for sure. I mean, that's one of the reasons I'm a friend, even. I have to fight a lot of battles. Well, you, to be <laughs> fair, in this instance, you chose that battle. Yeah. Your, your team, team no shutdown. Okay, the last thing I didn't like is that Conrad got reduced down to a bong token to yeah. Yeah, yeah, come yeah. on. Hold on, yeah. I mean, first of all. You bit your tongue, Conrad. I'm, I know. Well, I asked him to pre-production, so I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to still bite my tongue, actually, because I, I will come back to this tomorrow. We're going to have a little segment of what I thought about today. Okay, yeah. I, I like that. I need to yeah. think about it. I like Conrad taking wow. 24 hours. I need to <laughs> yeah. think about That's my response because I have a response. I promise you that. This is growth. This I is have, growth. I promise you I have a response. Well, I also promise you that whatever this response is, is going to go through about 12 revisions <laughs> before right. we it's allow it to go get on We got a new segment, Hindsight with Conrad. It's going to go through a lot of revisions. <laughs> I promise you that. Hindsight <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not lying to you there. Oh, man. First draft is like just racist remarks all over the place. Conan and I are both learning how to filter our thoughts. <laughs> we here at Only Friends appreciate that. Yeah. Yes. Uh, did we ever confirm the giveaway? Yes, I got yeah. it. it, was in got the it. I, he, he tweeted he, too. He okay. gave us some fake Twitter, some fake Twitter guy. You know. Oh, okay. Well, I'm someone's getting Taylor rich. What? Yeah, fuck it, I'm ready to go. Whatever. Somebody's getting rich. Is it, <laughs> if I find out this is a People fucking Conrad burner. <laughs> Yeah, Why did I fuck up? I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> like if I see Conrad in the in the in the WPT championship, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna be like, I'll be there, but gonna be in there. <laughs> I do want you guys to uh, have a chance at more of these uh, packages. So I will be playing the next six Sundays, I believe, or the next five nice. Sundays, something like that. Uh, hopefully, I do keep shipping more of these. We'll do the giveaway in the same way. So um, if you're not already. Click that join button, become a member of the Nerds and Brainiacs. It will increase your likelihood of winning that uh, package should I ship any more of those coming by up. By a thousand percent? By, by a thousand also, percent. whoever said yeah. I look bulky, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, the other thing that I want everybody to uh, please, 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 if you're in the Las Vegas area, come out tonight to Resorts World for Dan Smith's uh, Double Up Drive. Even if you're not planning on playing the event, just come out <laughs> and show a little love. I talked to Dan uh, they're kind of struggling a little bit this year post COVID with the recession and everything else, like getting numbers out. It would mean a lot to uh, show a lot of support to this, this event for the first time that it's kicking off. I'm going to be there. I'm going to, I'm going to get in the mix myself. I'm trying to talk Christian into coming. I'm coming for know. cocktail hour. Conrad's coming. He's going to take a bunch of cocktail hour. Uh, you know, we're, we're going to be there. We're going to be hanging out. Come say hi. If you're in the Las Vegas area, please. Uh, that's at Resorts World 6 p.m. I think cocktail hour starts at 5. Is that correct? Right. Oh, yeah, 5 o'clock. Beans, cool. you heard that. 5 o'clock. Yo, <laughs> Resorts World. Yo, Beans. What? <laughs> You're going to go hang out with Beans? Yeah, that's my dude. Beans is... 
Jesus, you're not helping your case much, here when he, he's reducing you down to a, a bong ripping. <laughs> <laughs> you, come on. You got to. Oh, man. Shout out to Stuart yourself, Taylor man. who hit us with the super chat. I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. Good luck at the wow, WPT. Sick. Uh, be sure to find me whenever you do play. I at least want to get a picture. So can you we imagine can, uh, like tuning into a podcast? Up. Next thing you know, you're up 12k. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we have to talk about the way this was given out. I think How it's... free was that? Also, That's our good. poor mods. Can we do something where we don't exclude the mods, and then I, if one of yeah. us wins, we it's just okay. re-roll it? No, it's okay. Yeah. I have only rich people as mods. And, Con and Conrad. Mods, and, and Conrad. Can you confirm the fuck? Mods? <laughs> yeah, mods. Can you confirm <laughs> this? Yeah. Uh, I, 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 and the tab. Sounds yeah. like hearsay to me. I, I've, had I've hand selected only rich people in Conrad's tab. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. That's I don't it. know about this. Uh, this yeah. Tyler right can't here. confirm this. Tyler <laughs> can't confirm this. Okay, okay, okay. You're right. You are right. I do give out the mod tag a little bit too freely, and they should be rewarded as well. So yeah, next giveaway, if we have it, I will include the mods. I will exclude the staff. What? Yeah, so if we well, win, you just re-roll. Yeah, we just re-roll. I'm tired of being fucking included. excluded. You know? Mons, Wait, I didn't you, you say you had six more times? I mean, I'm counting. I think you could give one for all of us. I'm going to Mexico. Wait, man, I'm, I'm trying to run a above board business here, okay? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I tried to come by. Support for the Only Friends podcast comes from True Classic. True Classic has been the absolute best fitting t-shirts a man can buy. Finding the right t-shirt is incredibly frustrating. Most t-shirts are either way too tight in the middle or look way too big and boxy. It's time to go all in on True Classic. True Classic has already helped over 2 million men finally get a better fit at an affordable price. Our listeners get access to the best deals they can offer for a limited time only. Get 25% off with the Only Friends code at trueclassic.com. True Classic. When you look good, you feel good. That's right. On that... I bid you guys adieu. Thank you so much for joining us. Please like, comment, subscribe, smash that join button, become a member of the Nerds and Brainiacs, and we will see you all here tomorrow. Peace.